أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين باعث الأنبياء والمرسلين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف خلقه خاتم أنبيائه سيد رسله نبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وشفيع ذنوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المطهرين المكرمين واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم أجمعين من أول يوم ظلمهم إلى قيام يوم الدين Respected viewers, brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the previous episodes we discussed and we began examining the famous sermon known as Al-Khutbah Al-Fadakiyya which is narrated from the great lady of light, the daughter of the Holy Prophet the wife of Amir al-Mu'mineen, the mother of al-Hasan al-Husayn, Zainab and Umm Kulthum, Sayyidat al-Nisa, Fatima al-Zahra, salawatullahi wa salam alayha. We reached to the point that after an introduction in which Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her, spoke about the importance of the gratitude expressed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الحمد لله على ما أنعم وله الشكر على ما ألهم والثناء بما قدم من عموم نعم ابتدأها وسبوغ آلاء أسداها The general trend is with regards to expressing gratitude and thankfulness as we discussed The next paragraph looks at Tawheed. We began to look at that particular paragraph. It states, وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ And I bear witness that there is no Lord except Allah. He has no partners. كَلِمَةً جَعَلَ الْإِخْلَاصَ تَأْوِيلَهَا The direction of the subject of Tawheed as um, illustrated by Sayyidah Fatima, peace and blessings be upon her, is towards the notion of sincerity and purity of thought, purity of intention. Uh, because at the outset we know that is the criteria by which our actions are indeed accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. Therefore, we find that the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, would say, uh, according to the narration, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ وَلِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مَا نَوَى أَلَا لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِسِ The Holy Quran comes forward and says to Allah, belongs the religion which is pure, unadulterated, the intention must be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi says in Nahju al-Balagha wa kamalu al-Tawheed al-Ikhlasu lah. Tawheed in terms of monotheism is shrouded and presented with the notion of sincerity, purity of thought, purity of action, the protection of the action from showing off and the idea of ostentation and riya which is viewed as al Shirkul Azgar Minor Polytheism. And it is interesting that the Quran informs us of the story of a group of people known as uh, Ashabul Jannah. And this is narrated in the Holy Quran, not the people of paradise on the day of judgment, but a group of individuals that had a farm and it belonged to their father who used to be a righteous man who used to donate and spread the crops once a year uh, to the poor and the needy after uh, keeping some for his family members, so to speak. Yet after he passed away, the first thing that the brothers decided was to keep the crops and to sell them and not to give any to the poor or the needy, despite being warned by one of their brothers um, not to do this, but they went ahead with the intention anyway. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed their crops entirely. They woke up in the morning, they walk to, walked to the farm in the most discreet of ways. And uh, sadly they, for them, they saw that everything had already been destroyed. And it highlighted 
the danger of the intention which is distorted or changed and the demonstration of the riwayah uh, that is from the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. This particular story as we find is in Surah Al-Qalam um, uh, and it is described there in detail. You look at the continuation of the sermon. She says, uh, in this particular sermon of Fadakiyya, he says, she says, وَضِمَّنَ الْقُلُوبِ مَوْصُولَهَا وَأَنَارَ فِي التَّفَكُّرِ مَعْقُولَهَا الْمُمْتَنِعُ عَنِ الْأَبْصَارِ رُؤْيَتُهُ وَمِنَ الْأَلْسُنِ صِفَتُهُ وَمِنَ الْأَوْهَامِ كَيْفِيَّتُهُ She says, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who is one without a partner, a statement which sincere devotion is made to be its interpretation. Kalimatan ja'ala al-ikhlas ta'wilaha. So ikhlas is the interpretation or the crux or the main gist of the whole concept of tawheed. Hearts guarantee its continuation and illuminated in the minds is its sens sensibility. He who cannot be perceived with vision, neither be described with tongues, nor can imagine a nation surround his state. What does this mean? This part of the uh, description or the analysis regarding Tawheed. There are misconceptions that of course Sayyida Fatima, peace be upon her, was attempting to answer and dispel the misconceptions that have been presented by some individuals and even exist till today about uh, the attribution of physical characteristics to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anthropomorphism. This idea whereby some people unfortunately within different theological schools in uh, the uh, fold of the Muslims have come forward and said because the Quran seemingly points to this then we have to accept it such as for instance Yadullahi aidihim, their hands uh, hands of Allah is over theirs Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa the merciful or the compassionate sits on the throne or is translated as so and many other verses uh, of the Holy Quran which have been unfortunately misinterpreted or misunderstood because these verses are known as allegorical, metaphorical, mutashabih ayat which have to be explained and they have a ta'wil, they have an interpretation and this interpretation we believe only is given to uh, those people who are deeply rooted in knowledge. وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ these Rasukhuna fil ilm we believe are the ones mentioned in Hadith al Thakalain, in Nitarikum Vikum al Thakalain, O al Thakalain, Kitab Allah, wa itrati ahlabayti ma in tamasektum bihima, lentavillu badi abada. As long as you adhere to them both, you will never go astray. Which means that the Ahl al Bayt alayhum as salam are the idl of the Qur'an, they are the ones who are placed alongside the Holy Qur'an and they can interpret the Qur'an and of Ahlul Bayt, such as Sayyidah Fatima, peace and blessings be upon her, through this beautiful sermon and many other teachings have highlighted the danger of attribution of physical characteristics to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because the Qur'an itself says, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ There is nothing like him. And therefore, all these ideas unfortunately are rejected or not accepted in terms of this type of attribution. Now notice, one of the dangerous areas that the Sayyidah, peace be upon her, has um, uh, highlighted is the idea of the vision of God. Can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be seen? Because some Muslim theologians have come forward and said, yes, on the day of judgment he can be seen. But how, they don't know. Or in some shape or form, there is a, an ability to visualize and see God, according to some Muslims, uh, throughout history. And their 
basis for this is the verse in the Holy Quran وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَ إِذٍ نَاظِرَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَاظِرَ On that day, in other words, the day of resurrection, the day of reckoning, the day of accountability, the day of judgment, people would be able to look at their Lord on that day, وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَ إِذٍ نَاظِرَ People would be looking at their Lord. Sayyidah Zahra Fatima, peace and blessings be upon her, as well as the Ahl al Bayt, and of course, on top, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this holy household, have emphasized the idea that Allah wa ta'ala cannot be seen. Because the Quran says, the Quran quite clearly says, لا تدركه الأبصار وهو يدرك الأبصار The eyes cannot encompass him, but he can encompass the eyes, of course. He is the creator. He is the majestic Lord, the cause of creation, and the absolute perfect being. Therefore, when we look at the ayat, we have to understand it from the Ahl al-Bayt. The Ahl al-Bayt have said, look at this ayah, وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ نَاظِرَةٌ means what? The eyes on the Day of Judgment, they will look at what? They will look at... The mercy of God. They are expecting the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah wa ta'ala cannot be confined to any space or time. He's the creator of space and time. Anything that could be seen is limited. And Allah wa ta'ala is unlimited. We cannot limit him to a particular place, to a particular time, to a particular way that he, God forbid, can be seen by people. It's a notion that the Quran quite clearly has denounced and has not accepted, such as the famous story of Musa alayhi salam. When Musa alayhi salam, the Bani Israel said to him, we want to see Allah. He said, you are ignorant. How could you do this? But they insisted. He took the 70 heads of the tribe, the 70 people who were established, and he took them to Mount Sinai and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Adini andur ilayk. Not, of course, he him, himself he knows, but on behalf of the people, he used to say, Let us see you. And Allah wa ta'ala says, You will not be able to see me, but look at the mountain. If the mountain is stable, then you will be able to see me. But through the command of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ja'alahu dakka wa kharra Musa sa'iqa That the mountain entirely was destroyed and Musa alayhi salam fell unconscious due to that incredible um, sight. And the 70 died even. And then Musa alayhi salam uh, woke up and sought forgiveness uh, on behalf of his community and asked for these 70 to give in life back and they were given life back. And this highlighted, of course, this notion that the vision of God or the ability, so to speak, to see God, the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world and the Akhirah does not exist. And that's why uh, Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad al sadiq salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi, when somebody said to him, how I want to see God, show me God. Imam alayhi salam said, I will show you God, but let's go outside. They go outside, Imam says, look at the sun. The man is unable to look at the sun due to the incredibly strong rays and the light coming from the sun. He says, I can't do it. Imam alayhi salam says, you wish to look, uh, you wish to see God, but you are unable to see a creation of God? This sun is a creation of God. The Bani Israel were not able to see or to stand at the mountain or to look at the mountain and they all died due to the spectacular and enormously frightening scene which the mountain was completely destroyed. And therefore, Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam and the Ahl al-Bayt who were the champions of Tawheed who were the leaders and the masters of teaching people monotheism come forward and actually present this type of um, argument to the people to dispel any kind of uh, uh, misconceptions that exist. Then she goes on and says, ابتدع الأشياء لا من شيء كان قبلها وأنشأها بلا احتذاء أمثلة امتثلها 
Sayyidah, peace be upon her, says, He originated, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala originated things, but not from anything that existed before them, and created them without examples to follow. In other words, there was no prototype that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala somehow created human beings from, or that they were there in existence and subhanahu wa ta'ala somehow created others. No, He created them from nothing. And that is the greatness and the power of the Lord, of Allah wa ta'ala. Notice the number one, eloquence. Number two, the wisdom. Number three, the depth of knowledge of the Ahl al-Bayt salam, as characterized by this great lady in which Imam al-Hasan al-Askari salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi says, Kulluna huj nahnu hujajullah. We are the proofs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa Fatimatu hujjatun alayna. Fatimatu zahra alayhi salam is the proof of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on us. Insha'Allah ta'ala, we will continue the discussion and the analysis and the examination of the beautiful sermon of Fatima al-Zahra, al-Khutbah al-Fadakiyya in the next episode. Wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala ashraf al-khalqi wa khatam al-anbiya. Wa sayyid al-mursaleen Muhammad wa alihi al-tahirin.